if it's one of these spec or personal projects, you know, you're coming into it. And, and like I said earlier, hopefully we've structured this in such a way that we're clearly giving them something. Mm -hmm. um, they're they're, they're going to leave this this project with a, a really cool piece of, of work that, that publicizes and shows what they do. So they're getting something out of it. And it's not too hard at that point to make the app, hey, we need you know a release form from you that allows us to use this footage. You know, you're getting something, we're getting something. And most people understand that pretty clearly that, hey, you, you know, we're doing this for free. One thing we get out of this, the opportunity to use this, some of this, this, this doc footage um, and license this. Um, so on a project like this, uh, I haven't run into that problem ever before. Um, where, where people are not open to, to that. Um, like I said, uh, this isn't the first time that we you know, tried to crank out a stock project like this. Um, our previous ones never really went anywhere uh, because we hadn't, we didn't have an, we hadn't approached it during the shoot with an edit in mind. We were just shooting cool images, but at the same point in time, we've actually been able to make some, some decent money uh, selling some of that stuff in stock. Um, even though we didn't have a finished piece to edit out of it, we had you know, some cool looking shots um, but when you're dealing with a client side, um, and you're actually getting paid to do some work somewhere, that becomes a little trickier because all of a sudden um, that value proposition is different. Uh, I'm paying you money to film for me. Why should you make more money off of this project? You know, that's a totally different question. Um, and the way I would approach that and, and like to approach that is it comes down to the, the cost uh, on that project. So if I'm doing a project that's full budget, and when I say full budget, I mean, it, it's a decent amount of money. If, they're, if they want full media rights buyout, uh, I explain that, look, it, it, here's what that's going to cost you. Um, a lot of the clients that I've worked with in the past or have pitches out with now, um, there's this understanding uh, with some of them that, hey, we can cut costs here. We can make this cheaper if you give us you know, ownership of, of this footage later on. We can license some of this, etc. Obviously, you know, if there's something proprietary that we can't show or some material that you want to be exclusive to your video, we can work around that. But developing a kind of a give and take there where sure we can we can come down five to ten percent on the budget here, but then we maintain ownership to this element of the footage. Um, and kind of using that as a as a little bit of a bargaining chip um, and making it seem again like a like a, an exchange of value. I'm giving you a discount on this project. And then I'm going to turn around and you know, sell some of this in stock um, with the full understanding. With, with, and then you kind of build up this, this understanding of an exchange of value with them, um, which makes it a lot easier than me just, you know, by the way, I know you paid me for this footage, but I'm going to go sell it to somebody else and make more money on it. 